Good morning, everybody. Uh, today I'm out in Bodega Bay digging for clams with Philosophy D. If you've seen my channel, you've probably seen his channel. His channel is like 10 times bigger than mine. So, but if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, check out his channel. He does some good fishing. Some nice ling cods off the rocks. Some ocean fishing. Uh, just past 6.30. Uh, and the sun is just coming up. Looking good. Alright, we're about to get dirty. Let's do this. There's yeah. small one. That's it. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's a small one, but that's it right there. Alright, well. Yeah, dig for it. Guy. Nice. What is this horse neck? Okay. Daniel with the first one. <laughs> <Big> horse neck. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> Huge. Huge one. The biggest wow. one he's caught. <laughs> no way. No way. What this is? is a worm. I no, it is a worm, huh? Check this out. What? I thought this was a siphon. But no, this is a worm. Look at that. Oh, I, got I one. can't find it. Nice. There we go. What's this? First one for me. Oh, that's it. That's what. That's oh, a clam. Oh, there's two here. So just once in a while, feel with your hand so you don't crush the crush the shell. There we go. You got it. Yeah. Woo! Ooh, good size. That's a good size. Yeah. See, that's a good one. There it is. Not too big, but it's good. Yeah, I broke him again, though. I marked two places where I saw the huge thing. Oh, I saw a squirt. Just I broke it. Oh, it's pretty big, though. <laughs> yeah. There's two more big ones. Nice. Yeah. Um. All right, guys. So to be sustainable, you make sure to fill your holes. Put the put the, all the dirt that you dug up back in the hole. These uh, these clams need really tightly packed sand uh, to move around and to feed as well. So uh, they need. So if you don't fill your holes, the mud the mud flat gets loose and these guys will die off and we won't have them anymore. So make sure to fill your hole as you go. All right. and uh, harvest maybe a little bit of seaweed to use for our clam dish. Yeah, that's pretty good. We got some laver here. Nice. That'll be part of the dish. All right, guys, this is what we got right here. Got a nice Washington clam here. Got a little smaller one, maybe five, five horse neck. And this one's the, probably the biggest one. And Daniel right here, he's got some good size ones. Two good size Washington clams, these two right here. Nice size horse neck right here. And his first one. <laughs> first clam ever, that's get the, this guy right here. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna cook it up right now, so let's do this. First we're gonna prep some of these clams. So, take a knife. muddy right now and sandy but this siphon right here is going to turn pure white once we take that outer layer of skin off. There's 
two sizes. And actually this right here, the this is the this is the foot right here. Yep, and that's also edible, right? Yeah, that's a, that's good. That's good. And edible. Real good. So I'm guessing the Washington clams aren't, you know, they don't have the siphon very much, but they have a lot of, you know, that foot meat, right? Actually, these have, they still have a siphon, a little thinner. Yeah. They have a siphon, and they also have these adductor muscles. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, much two, bigger, I'm yeah, assuming. Yeah, two adductor muscles they have, and it's, those are what I love about these Washington clams. Oh, this, yeah, I mean, small siphon right here. Yeah. Actually, it does stretch out. Oh, I'm sure it stretches, I mean, yeah. right? We, we saw it in the yep. in the water. But these right here, this, this is the adductor muscle right here. And huh. this looks is, like a little scallop, yeah, huh? And this is like a little mini scallop. And this is delicious. You know, put and we're also eating that sashimi style? Yeah. Yeah, put those right there. Ooh. Siphon, and the only part that you don't want to eat is really just the belly. The dark, is, yeah, the has dark, a bunch of sand in it, huh? Parts. Yeah, a bunch of sand, and it's just that's where all the toxins collect. Right. Yeah. You got ice water, boiling water. Take the siphon. All right. Pour it into boiling water. Yep. For like and 30 down. seconds is good. Yeah, maybe even less. Yeah. So this process just essentially gets the skin off. Real easily. So here's one of them, and should peel off pretty easily. Yeah. There we go. And just like that, look at that white meat. Yep. Just butterfly them all over. Get that nice piece right there, and you take. Take off that dark part. Tip. Usually you rinse off the siphon too, right? So there's a bunch of sand. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot here. of a lot of sand in the tubes. Yeah. Taku brought plates. That's that real outdoor chef life. Five seconds or less. Yeah. And the foot as well. Into the ice they go. Some of the seaweed that Daniel collected earlier. I'll let these go maybe 30 seconds. This is gonna be good. So we'll go in the ice. Nice bath. Raw clams, two ways. One, an Italian style, and the other, an Asian style. So first I'll do the Italian one. I've got the siphon and in the corners, the foot and the adductor muscles. I'm just gonna squeeze some lemon juice right on top of them. This is garlic olive oil. It smells so good. I know, man. yeah, I know. <laughs> Every time I cook with that, it's like, wow. I have some arugula here. This is Parmesan cheese. This is what you expect when she was a chef. <laughs> oh yeah. Add a little bit of salt on here. Not too much. Lemon juice, a little more. This is one. And then let's go for the Asian one. 
Cajun soy sauce here. Just regular soy sauce. Basically making a, a ponzu. A ponzu? Ponzu. Ponzu. Oh, okay. is ponzu. The, yeah. It's citrus soy sauce. Sesame oil. And I'm going to top it with some of this seaweed that we got for just earlier. A little sesame seed. Sesame seed. Cheers. Oh my god. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. Nice citrusy. You get, get that sesame oil in there. Oh yeah. Nice flavor from the clam. Sesame oil. That's what I forgot. It's, it, try these. Uh, try the, the adductor muscle. Man. Okay. That's, for me, I think this is the best. Just put it in the sauce a bit. Adductor muscle from the Washington clan. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's got that scallop flavor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Oh man. It tastes like it's man, like straight from a, a sushi restaurant. <laughs> it makes sense because this dude's a, a chef, a sushi I, chef. It makes perfect sense. Are you ready for the next one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. Italian style one we got here on top. We got some arugula, Parmesan cheese, garlic, oh, olive yeah. oil, and a little bit of salt and lemon. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Way different. Way this different. is, yeah, much, uh, much more lemony, zesty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, hey man, it still has that really good clam, fresh clam texture. It's really good, man. Still good. And the Parmesan actually goes pretty well. Yeah. I want to check this out. Me too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This good is some smell. next level, like, catch and cook right here. <laughs> Which one do you like better? That seaweed's really good, too. I think that Asian one. Me too. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Cool. Asian one. The seaweed has really good mix with it, too. Yeah. yeah See the sauce in here, right here? We're gonna take care of that right now. What, what's the bread? <laughs> oh, what's the bread? That bread. We're gonna use that sauce. That That's remaining olive oil sauce Parmesan. and Parmesan. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. So we just prep some more, prep the rest of the clams in here, whatever we didn't eat raw, but we're gonna saute. And we're just gonna use nothing fancy this time. Um, just a little, little olive oil, garlic olive oil. I love garlic. Chopped this garlic up yesterday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Toast up the bread. Yep, look at that. That. You want to take that one? These are saute clams with seaweed. some seaweed over that toasted bread that was in that juice. Oh my god. Round two. Round two clam dish. Yeah. Look at that. This host on the bread. Too? The garlic. So good. Mm. I'm happy, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm as happy as a clam. <laughs> oh, 
honestly, this this was amazing. Thank you for coming out with me, Dude, man. Course, it was a pleasure to hang out with you. It was re really a pleasure to hang out with you. This Dude. is pretty awesome. It was awesome. And we got to do more. Oh, man, I'm down. Yeah, definitely. For sure. It was so good. And maybe Which of the three was your favorite? Hmm. Which of the three? Oh, man, I can't decide. They're all so good. <laughs> they're so different, but they're so good. Anyways, if you haven't seen his channel, Philosophy D, check it out. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.